In this quick tip, I'll show you how to use Photoshop Curves Auto Options to enhance shadows, midtones, and highlights. It's one of my favorite ways to quickly add depth and color to an image. Let's have some fun being creative. This image is one I created just for fun. It's already been edited in Photoshop using textures and different color grading techniques. The first trick that I'm going to show you is curves. I'll come up to my adjustment layers and I'll click on curves. And this is where you normally would play with your curve line. But what I'm going to do is hold down my Alt or Option key and click on Auto. And you get different choices. What you can choose is Enhance Brightness and Contrast. You can actually choose End and Dark Light colours. Let's have a look at the different results that they give. This is with Enhance Brightness and Contrast. Find Dark and Light colours. Then I can go Enhance Per Channel and Enhance Monochromatic. Now I usually go through each one of these just to see what I can get from the image. But this is where it really lifts the game when you do target colours. I'm going to click on Find Dark and Light Colours. I come down here and this is where I can choose the shadow colours, the mid-tone colours or the highlights. Let's go in and have a look at shadows. I'll click here. I get my colour picker. Now the shadows I might want in a deep blue. So I'm just going to come over here into the blue area and choose a blue. I'll click on OK. Then what you can do is the mid-tones. Now mid-tones is totally up to you what you want to choose. But let's say I want to go more into a warmer colour, yellow, orange. This is where you experiment and you play to see what you can actually get. I'll click on OK. Then I'll come to Highlights. And what I'm wanting with my highlights is a bit more of a lighter colour, maybe into the yellows, even into that orange. And let's sort of click into that light colour. Might just come over and change that and click OK. These are the three colours I've chosen now, shadows, the midtones and the highlights. What I want to do is click on OK. And this is where you definitely need to go, no, you don't want to change this. So you click on no, and what it's done is it's made those adjustments to the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. But let's see what else I can get with this image. I'll go to the blend mode over here in my layers stack, and I might choose soft light, an overlay, Let's come up to look at multiply, even darken if I wanted to, even screen if I wanted to go something very light. But I'm going to play with overlay and soft light. I'm going to drop the opacity down just a little bit. And let's have a look at what this has done. I'll turn that layer off and on. Very subtle but it gives what I call the depth in colour. Turn that layer off and on. Now maybe I'm not happy with the colours that I chose. So what I'm going to do is come back, hold down my Alt or Option key, click on Auto, and then what I'm going to do is change the shadows. Let's come in and I'll go for a bit more of a ready colour. And I'll come into there and say so this is adding warmth into the shadows. I could go even deeper in the colour and I think I'll do that. Let's come back to the mid-tones. And I might go a bit more up into the blue. Let's come in and find that right blue. Again, there's no formula. It's just about playing. I'll click on OK. The highlights now I've definitely want to get into the yellow tone or even into an orange and I might come up here add a little bit more warmth in it. So let's have a look at the colours that I've changed. I'm going to click on OK 
and let's have a look. Definitely do not want to save these as my default, so I go no. I'm going to turn that layer off and on. It gives that tonal range and the depth in colours. That's how you can use curves to add depth and richness to your images. If you want to learn more about colour grading, check out the playlist on my channel.